this nice hive became queenless and uh, one of the workers became a lane worker so this hive is uh, doomed if uh, nothing is done normally i don't do much i just dump the bees and that's it because it's super hard to fix but because this this hive is big i would like to try to fix it and to fix it i will use a queen that i made in this mini box we have a queen and i would like to combine it with this one but it will be multi-stage approach essentially i will move this hive closer to this hive and then this hive will go on top of this but because this hive has a screen button i will open this up and make sure the air is circulating in between so they can distribute the pheromone and then after a while what i'll do is uh, i will replace all the frames in this box with a totally fresh uh, uh, not drawn foundations and dump all the bees somewhere maybe 50 yards away and uh, let them come back so hopefully they will um, forget about the smell that was originally had uh, from land worker and land worker will will not come back and uh, if, even if uh, she comes back then the smell from the right queen uh, box will will dominate and they will not let her in that, that that's my hope and uh, it's a multi-stage approach but hopefully it will work so i will put this one box on top of this first uh, and then i let them be like that for a while to make sure that they get used to this new place maybe a couple days and then in a couple days i will dump all of these bees uh, somewhere and uh, the the workers they will come back and and repopulate those empty frames but at the same time they will get pheromone from the queen right box so i have these two mini nukes and they they can fit side by side on top of this box both of them they have screened buttons and what i will do in this case so this this mini nuke also i i took queen from there to create another uh, split so this bees they're queenless as well so we'll combine these two mini nukes in one and they will occupy the top of this box and i also can put this canvas for now i don't want too much fight so i put the canvas for now cover this piece now i put this box on top of this like box. to open it lots of ear wigs like they they love it to be here because it's warmer more humid and they they love to make a nest so i will open this thing here for the bees to come in the box see the bees are there and let's check how it looks inside i want to open this hive and just show you maybe a frame so that you can recognize the lane worker. Okay, pulled it out. This is how you recognize lane worker. It's a very typical sign. We have um, cells, worker cells filled with uh, drone drone brood. You can see these elevated cups, so it's not they're not flat. And also, it's hard to see in this hive, but often you see lots of eggs in one cell that's another sign of the land worker very hard to fix they also put lots of queen cups they could be empty or not but uh, it happens too but those are useless these are queen cups 
So all of what I need from this is just bees and then the rest I will dump out on the, the ground. But let's continue. This is how it fits exactly on top of this box and the entrance is right here so they can fly through this entrance now these bees i know they have a queen i just checked it very young queen just little bees this box will go on top of that box and i will move the whole thing right in the middle this is how it looks so i want to free some room the bees get agitated a bit i don't use smoke because i don't have time to start smoker but in general smoke is good in these situations because smoke confuses smell so they fight less not just for protection but for fighting so this was uh, feed i was feeding them with some honey old honey and remove it now we have enough room this one still has honey How about this check this mini frame oh this i don't like it cross comb we'll need to fix it for sure now this one has nice eggs in there it's a good queen laying great foundation Everything is good, I won't touch it anymore. Just leave it like that. This one, I still gonna keep it here to have some distance. Now, these bees from this hive, they will go in there. So there's some brood. So I can put this frame. This frame, this brood, right here, and then this frame, I'm gonna put right here. So three frames, and then frame number four. Nice, good looking. Rain. Just drawn from foundation. Look how straight it is. Amazing. So they're still working on it. So we put it in there. So now we'll have one strong mini nuke. Now these little bees. So what I will do, I'll shake those. And I will fix this frame because I don't like this cross comb. This is honey. Taste it. Just like that, so we fix it. We don't need any cross comb. We can put this this comb here because it does smell of the other high less fight this one go to here this will go there now this frame is fixed put it back and then we move everything together Now it's nice and straight and it has these two colonies of bees. Now these bees right here 
I'll just shake them on top of the other piece. And that's it. So that's it. That's how I did it. Transfer it bees right here, cover it. The bees got agitated, I got stunned right in my face. So I had to pay for not using the smoke. But but that's it. So we have these two boxes. We combined bees. Now two entrances and this lane worker, they the smell will interchange. So then then I will fix the lane worker hive by totally replacing comb and uh, for some time and then I'll just combine those two through newspaper. That's the goal. Okay, let's cover. Cover this like that. And then put some insulation. And just put this burlap as insulation. And then I cover with the lid. And that's all.